section here since I have everything written up. So ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to be talking about, um, again, this chapter is going to be quadratic equations. But rather, and basically, we're just going to focus on graphing, at least for this unit. So there's going to be the, there's a couple forms of quadratics. Uh, remember lines? We had point slope form, standard form, slope intercept form, right? Because remember, there's different equations of lines. But they still give you the same line. Well, for today, we're just going to focus on vertex form because that's what we're familiar with, right? We're familiar with vertex form on absolute value. Now we're going to use vertex form for quadratic. So a quadratic equation, we'll also talk about functions later. But here you have vertex form, which we call vertex form. And if you guys notice, I'll talk about compression and stretching afterwards. But if you guys notice, the, this is exactly what I wrote up over here. It's the exact same thing. But please write it down, because you need to remember that h, it's still x minus h. So h is your horizontal shift. So remember, it's always the opposite. If it's x minus 3, that's 3 to the right. If it's x plus 2, that's 2 to the left, right? Remember the h, it's opposite. And then we have our k. That's going to be our vertical shifts up and down. And when a is less than 1, it is a reflection about the x-axis. What's nice about vertex form is we didn't really talk. We did, I did show you guys what the vertex was on an absolute value. But I didn't really, we didn't really focus as much as on the vertex. However, for quadratics, that is going to be an essential piece of information that I am going to be asking is what is the vertex. So since we have this in vertex form, the vertex is very easy to identify. It's just h comma k. h comma k. Now notice, remember, this is not, I mean, it's x minus h. So whatever x minus is, that's the value of h. So your h k. Then we're also going to talk about the axis symmetry, which was in the absolute value again, which is going to be x equals h. Okay? So I'm going to ask, these are what two pieces of information I'm going to be asking, especially on your homework. Now, the other thing I just want you to show you what the graph looks like. Here is the graph, which is the which we call a parabola. So we'll be using that information quite a bit. This is what we call the parent graph. That's x squared. There's no transformations going on. And you guys can see kind of these table of values. All right? And basically what I'm doing is for every x value that I'm inputting, I'm squaring. It's a little bit different than um, a little bit different than the absolute value that we've discussed. Does anybody have any questions for on this so far? This is the basic introduction. Dang it, I wanted to get through this stuff.